So if you've ever doubted your potential before, or you've noticed yourself get low in confidence right at the right at the point in time where you're ready to take that next step in your journey, then you'll know how frustrating it can be. And you can know that there's a reason why you're having this self-doubt. And in this video, I'm gonna be revealing to you why it's happening and most importantly, how you can start to excavate the confidence you need to reach your potential. So really understanding why the self-doubt is coming up is probably because you're approaching a point in your evolution or in your growth where you're requiring to get out of what you're currently, your current comfort zone. You're required to step out into a place where you haven't been before and the mind will try to keep you safe. It will try to create stories that says, no, you shouldn't do that. You're not good enough. You don't know enough yet. You know, whatever this story that your mind is telling you is like, that's what you're, what, that's what's keeping you stuck in this self-doubt mentality. Now, to overcome the doubt and gain the confidence that you're really after, I really use a three-step approach to do that. And that first step is oftentimes slowing down and looking back on what you've done so far. Now, if you're a high achiever or if you're a type A personality or someone like myself who's always looking for the next step in the journey, what is the next step? How can we grow? How can we get to that next place in our evolution? And oftentimes I have a tendency not to slow down and look back on all the things that I've done already. And during that process, you'll gain a ton of clarity and a ton of confidence in your own ability. Because if you look back to where you were this time last year and see, you know, okay, where was I back then? What was I thinking? How was I feeling back then? What did I have externally? And now look where you are now. The amount of growth that's happened in such a short space of time, give yourself credit for that. Acknowledge the fact that you know, you're exactly where you're meant to be and you're growing at such a rapid rate that you must be doing something right. So charge up the self-love. You know, look back at what you've done because when you give yourself this self-love and this this inner knowing that you, you are on the right step to your, your evolution or that goal or that vision you've created, then that gives you a lot of faith and trust that you, you are gonna make the right decision. So the second thing is, speaking of the vision and goal, is a lot of people experience doubt when they're not clear on what their vision is. Now, if you have a, like a razor sharp vision, okay, this is where I wanna be in three years time, and you know that this next step in the journey is gonna take you there, then you're gonna face fear, you're gonna face discomfort, but the doubt won't be, the self-doubt around the actual step won't be there because you know this is taking you into that vision. So I would invite you, if you haven't already, get clear on what the three-year vision is. Like where is it that you wanna be and is this step or is this wherever you are now, whatever decisions you're making, are these the steps that are taking you towards that vision? Now this, this clarity around vision brings so much confidence because you know what you should be doing day by day, week by week. You're getting up, you know, this is the next step in my, in my vision. So when you face all these discomfort and all these doubting that comes up, you know to move past it because it's pulling you in that direction, the vision. The third thing is the limiting story. Now, I know the mind will create stories around what it is that we're feeling. Whenever we feel uncomfortable, the mind will chime up and be like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. You don't know enough. You should be studying more. You should be learning more. You're too old. You're too young. You don't look like this. You don't look like that. Whatever the limiting story is that your mind's replaying, maybe it's the story of not having enough. Usually it is. You don't have enough money. You don't have enough time. Whatever that is. That story is actually your mind's safety mechanism to protect you from feeling an emotion you don't want to feel. I'll repeat that, your mind, that story is your mind's safety mechanism to protect you from feeling an emotion that you don't wanna feel. So the gateway from freeing yourself from the story is to get into the emotion. Get underneath and experience, okay, what is this emotion that I'm afraid to feel? And if the story's around not having enough money, okay, then what's the emotion underneath that? Well, maybe there's a fear of you know, failure fear of being judged by others. Okay, what happens when we get judged by others? What happens when we fail? Well, we, f we, we feel like we're not worthy. We feel like we're not good enough to receive love. So there's a, there's a fear under here, a part of us that's afraid that we're not gonna get love. And understanding the root of that can allow you to cut through the story, get into the body, 
feel the emotion and be a container for yourself. And this is the true essence of self-love when you can give yourself that because it frees you up, it frees up the, the energy that gets stuck. You know, that limiting story is coming from an energy, an emotion that's stuck in the body. When you can speak to that and free that up, vast amounts of confidence come through because it frees up your energy centers, you can express, talk clearly, because the energy is not getting stuck in your throat, it's not getting stuck in the solar plexus, where I, I would notice for me, whenever, whenever I would experience anxiety, in my solar plexus, it would be this heavy energy that would just like cool me down. I could never speak clearly because there was an emotion in there that, was, that I was holding on to. So I'm curious, like what is that story that keeps coming up for you? Like leave a comment below in this video and tell me like what is the story that you've noticed that your mind keeps replaying? That not enough story. And then let's see if we can get underneath that. You can use practices such as meditation, breath work, you know, yoga, things that allow you to slow down your mind you know, practices, mindful practices that let you slow down your mind, get into the body so you can feel this unwanted emotion. Give yourself permission to feel it, accept that it's there, acknowledge that it's there. Give yourself like a container of love for that energy to start moving. And the minute it starts moving, you can say, I'm ready to let this go. And when it does, that's where the magic's gonna come through. You're gonna experience so much confidence from this, guys. So you're gonna. I'm telling you, that's where the magic lies. So just to recap, look back on what you've done. Give yourself self-love for all the amazing things you've achieved to date because really, you wouldn't be here right now watching this if you hadn't done an intense amount of growth and development. Secondly, map your vision. Get clear on where it is that you're heading. What is that, that goal that you know that this is the next step? Or that goal that, or that vision that's gonna allow you to get clear on, okay, these are the next steps. And then thirdly, look at that limiting story when it comes up. What is the emotion underneath it that's asking to be felt? And finally, if you took value from this video, guys, subscribe because I'm gonna be giving you a ton more information, insights, and, and ways of understanding how to just get out of your own way so that you can support your soul's expansion, live your purpose, and live with passion. So thank you so much for, for joining me on this video, and we'll see you in the next one.